Hey guys, um, this is really important, and it's just really real. Um, this is in regards to video games, um, even TV, but mainly video games that I'm for sure about. And I know, thanks to Brother, that he, like, makes video games, but they're holy. Like, they're Christian, and... It's pretty cool. Um, but he kind of told me like just a little bit of how you make a game, like a video game, and it's pretty intense. So like, I'm just gonna give you the, for dummies, you know. <laughs> um, actually, I didn't like saying that, no one's dumb. But you know what I mean, more of a simple term. Uh, so when you go to make a video game, when people, these gamers make these video games, it first basically has to be typed up, like written up, like written up in words. You basically type out all you want, what's going on, what happens. It's like you basically type out a story and that's the format. And then the format, whatever you have to do after that, you somehow transfer it or manipulate it or what, whatever you do to it, you turn it into a video. Now it's a video game. So... First it was a story, now it becomes a video. Um, I just wanted to tell you this because when people type up these these games, they type stories. You can type anything in there, anything you want. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, right? Your words. So if um, somebody's wicked, or even if they're being used by Satan and don't even know it, and they type something in there in a video game, like World of Warcraft or Grand Theft Auto, Obviously, those are pretty wicked games. I mean, in Grand Theft Auto, you can, like, pick up strippers and steal cars. You know, if we're not going to do that in the physical realm, why would we do that in a, in a false reality, you know, especially for following Jesus? You know, we are actually committing those acts in God's eyes. So, in these games, people can type in the beginning. They can literally type a prayer. They can type an incantation. They can type a spell whatever they want to do in these video games and say someone creates a video game and in the very beginning of their storyline they type it up and they put in a curse in there and the curse has to do with addiction or sickness or whatever it is evil people are real and there are satanists in the world so in this video game um, say a five or seven year old goes to buy this video game and it looks all cute you know it's got dogs and houses and you get to put the dog in the house and take care of it, but really, in the script, in the scripture, it's really evil, and um, there have been curses put in the back of the of the um, the video game, whatever it is. You know, looks are deceiving, so you have to have the spirit of God to really give us discernment to know this. It's you know, it's so important. So now your seven year old child is playing this video game and it's full of curses. So now your child is on taking those curses. And um, things can be Holy Spirit inspired too. You could create a video game and put a prayer in the beginning. You could put a prayer and say, he Heavenly Father, God, I just ask that you bless this person. Um, you give them health, vitality, keep them from the evil one, strengthen them, Father, and protect them in Jesus' name. And then when they go to play the video game, they just, they're under protection. They're, they're in holiness. They're in love. If everything's produced out of the correct spirit of love, not the false worldly love, then it's beautiful. But this is just, that's really all I wanted to say. I wanted everyone to realize, like, that opened my eyes pretty big to just be like, wow, you know, there's witchcraft and spells in video games because it's all about typing. And this is why most people kill people because they practice shooting people when they're kids, shooting people in video games and their parents give face with guns and snipers and and you say it's just a game but it's really not it's evil why why do we you know we don't we shouldn't want that stuff around and and you know I played those games when I was a kid I didn't know any better I played like twisted metal and all this stuff where I'd shoot people and wreck cars and it's like if we wouldn't do it in the physical realm and God, we know God's watching us we don't want to do that at all you know we want pure, you know, we want pure love and beautiful things and 
stuff that doesn't involve harm and everything is influencing you know we reap what we sow so if we're always reaping and and doing stuff that involves that kind of stuff we're gonna reap you know we're gonna reap that but that's pretty much it just take that into consideration and and meditate on it and seek the lord about it because there's so much evil and it's so silent that we we think it's harmless but it's super detrimental you know um yeah may the lord bless you